Is the fact that a whopping 40 lakh individuals in Assam may be on their way to being declared stateless now political fodder for our political parties? Is it BJP versus the opposition? And if so, are there double standards all around? Today, the finance minister Arun Jaitley posted a piece on Facebook on the citizenship issue. We'll get to our debate in a moment, but let's reflect on a few points that he did say. Now, the key point that he said, I'm just taking a few points from what uh, Mr. Jaitley said in his blog. He referred to what Mamta Banerjee said in August 2005. She said, infiltration in Bengal has now become a disaster. You can see the Bangladeshis as well as Indian names in the list. She's talking about the voters list. I have both the Bangladeshi and the Indian voters list. This is a very serious matter. Now, that seems to contradict quite sharply with what Mamta Banerjee has been saying today. But let's go through some of the other points mentioned by Arun Jaitley. For example, he points out what the Supreme Court has said on the issue of immigration. And just look at how the, the tough position taken by the Supreme Court, and perhaps we need to reflect on this further. The Supreme Court said, as a result of the population movement from Bangladesh, the specter looms large of the indigenous people of Assam being reduced to a minority in their home state. Their cultural survival will be in jeopardy. Their political control will be weakened. And their employment opportunities will be undermined. That's what the Supreme Court has said. What about the Congress Party and the Assam Accord? Remember, it was the brainchild of the Congress Party to actually get uh, an idea of the number of people who are illegal immigrants in Assam. Now, the Congress Party in 1984, when the Assam Accord was signed, said there are three categories of immigrants. Those who came prior to the 1st of January 1966, those people are all citizens. Those who came between the 1st of January 66 and the 24th of March, um, 19, uh, 1971, I believe, must be registered, but they must be registered as foreigners. Those who came on or after the 25th of March 1971, they need to be expelled, is what the Congress Party actually had to say, which is why Mr. Jaitley makes the point, in the 50 years between 1961 and 2011, the majority community in Assam has grown 2.4 times, the minority has grown 3.9 times, this has caused a major demographic impact. So it's all very well to ask the question, look, uh, let's look, what are we going to actually do with these 40 lakh uh, people in Assam? Where are they going to go? But let's look at the history and let's look for consistency within what the opposition has been saying. At this stage, I'd like to introduce my panelists. Garga Chatterjee, the Tr Trinamool Congress uh, a supporter joins me from Kolkata, as does Chandra Bose, the BJP leader, and also Priyanka Chaturvedi of the Congress Party. We'll be joined in a little while by Suhas Chakma, Director of Rights and Risks Analysis Group. Um, Garga Chatterjee, let me ask you this first. Why is it that Mamta Banerjee is saying something today when, in fact, in the past, she said something completely different? Is she also playing politics at the same time when she's accusing the BJP of doing that? Mamuta Banerjee, what she is saying today, nowhere has she supported that illegal immigrants should not be deported. And that was her stance in 2005, that's her stance now. What is being told here is that the NRC is being used with political motivation to exclude people who are Indian citizens who vote against the BJP to make them refugees in their own homeland, in their own land of citizenship, so that BJP can do elections. And now they are wanting to expanding the NRC no, to play this very nefarious game. The we infiltration in Bengal has become a yeah, disaster now. This is what she said in 2005. You can yeah. see Bangladeshi as well as Indian names right. in the list. I have both the Bangladeshi and Indian voters. It's a serious matter. I would like to know when would it be discussed in the House. She actually stormed out of the House at that stage, quit as an MP uh, as well. The issue of so-called infiltration in West Bengal was key to her politics then. Today she is saying the opposite. If you are picking up this line, again as I said, she stands against illegal immigration even today. There has been no, show me a statement where she is saying that illegal immigrants are welcome in West Bengal or India. She is nowhere in saying that. Okay. What she says 
is the process has to be clear and the process should not target a certain ethnic group in this case Bengalis which has been done she, we, we are saying something very simple have one objective document based parameter for all Indian citizens to determine citizenship that has not this something very basic and obvious has not been followed okay, so in let's, Assam let's just do where something. certain people Mr. Chatterjee, have, one been, second. have been um, identified as original inhabitants let's just what take is, a look what is let's being take talked a look about as the cultural rights has Everybody said today, is Indian. And then let's look at what happened in 2005. We did a story on that 4th of August 2005 where Mamta Banerjee, well, take a look yourselves, but first let's take a look at what she said today. They belong to you and us. They belong to global family. They belong to country family. They belong to nation family. They belong to state family. They belong to local family. They have the family members also. They are our family members. They are our family members. Mr. Chatterjee, she said, you, you were saying that she is, uh, objects to illegal immigration. That's all very well. But the moment she says they belong to the state family, they are our family, you know, it seems to suggest a very deft twist of her politics. One minute, Mr. Chatterjee, I know you want to say more. But I want to take a look at what she has said in 2005. In fact, we don't have the sound bite, but this is what happened in Parliament. Over there was that Mamta Banerjee, furious at the immigrant issue, she wanted to raise a question on it. It was disallowed. She threw papers at the deputy speaker, stormed out, and quit as MP or resigned as MP, threatened to resign as MP. It just seems that there is a change in what she is saying. I want to put that across uh, to Suhas Chakma, who's with me in the studio. Is that something you see as well? That various political parties, and we'll get to the Congress next are playing this politically. It's not just enough for us to stop and say the BJP is taking advantage of, uh, of, 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 of taking away Muslims in Assam who may or may not be allowed to vote next time around. At least that was the original intention and therefore playing communal politics. What is the Trinamool and Mamta Banerjee, what have they said before and what is she saying now? I think all the political parties are trying to take benefit out of this process and if there is somebody who is not possibly going to benefit out of this process, it's the BJP. Because when you execute such a massive program of action, obviously there will be loopholes, there will be lacunas, and people will protest against it. And why did I say that the BJP will be affected? It's because B Muslims will not be supporting BJP. Right. The Bengalis are as much affected, the Bengali Hindus, so they will be saying what's the point of supporting BJP. Right. So, BJP, that's possibly one of the reasons why uh, people are saying that you know, people will be allowed to vote even if they are yeah. not citizens. So there's a single political party which is not doing politics right. on the issue. I think the critical issue has been uh, uh, to identify and to make sure that the genuine citizens in the name of identifying illegal immigrants are not harassed and excluded. Okay. That's where Priyanka, the concern. Priyanka Chaturvedi, as your party uh, accuses the BJP of playing politics on this particular issue of divide and rule. These are words which have been used by various political leaders. The fact of the matter is NRC is a legacy of the Congress party. It was the Congress party, Indira Gandhi initially, Rajiv Gandhi later on, who even went to the extent of saying after a certain cutoff, if people enter the country, they need to be thrown out. Why is it that you have adopted somewhat of a soft position now. Why are you not as aggressive in saying illegal immigrants, throw them out? Why don't you say that anymore? So, so very clearly, we are, very, uh, we are also very clear as far as the stance is concerned that no illegal immigrant can get priority over Indian citizens who are born and brought up in this nation. They have the first right, the citizens of this country have the first right. What I find amusing is that the former defense minister, former finance minister could have been a Lok Sabha MP is accusing the uh, opposition parties of something that uh, you know they, their own party is guilty of. If he would have cared enough to read the every post that the Facebook post that uh, our Congress president had put out where he had categorically said that it was a commitment that we had made to the people of Assam in 1985. We tried to implement it from 2005 onwards and we had put that on course. We got a stamp of approval from the Supreme Court 
and the conclusion has been uh, reached by the Bharatiya Janata Party, but in a very tardy manner, in an insensitive manner. And he has also appealed to the people of uh, Congress and all Congress workers to ensure that people beyond political affiliations, gender bias okay. and various other factors that are involved in Assam to ensure that the 40 lakh people who find their names out of the NRC uh, are, are helped and assisted to ensure that their documents uh, are registered and they and find their names in the list. So what that. the what we are questioning is the implementation of the entire process, okay. the implementation and the uh, how politically it is being used by the Bharatiya Janata Party. Let's not forget what uh, Amit Shah, who is the uh, president of the Bharatiya Janata Party, spoke on the floor of the house in the Rajya Sabha. He called everybody an illegal immigrant, which is not true. Which no, is but going Indira Gandhi, the Indira Gandhi Court was, e stated. was, was the equally Court hard line in her everyone views will get on a what needed to be done. Indira Gandhi had an equally hard line. We are absolutely this. clear in our views too. If you look, let me let me let me let me just give you a few numbers as far as Indira Gandhi ji and the Congress Party stance is concerned. In 2013, as far as deportation of illegal immigrants is concerned, the Congress Party ensured that 5,234 immigrants uh, re went back to Bangladesh on the basis of their illegal entry into a nation. Okay. And what is this 56 inch of, uh, you know, the, uh, the, the uh, bombastic talk that we have been hearing from the BJP achieved? In 2017, they have managed to uh, deport 51 people. 5,234 versus a 51 okay, should be an indicator okay, enough let me put as that to across who is most serious Bose. about ensuring let me put that, that our borders are secure and we okay, do not one compromise one, one on the national Priyanka. security like BJP does for its political Chandra gains. Let me go across to Chandra Bose and, and ask him the question that you raised. Mr. Bose, the question being raised by the Congress party is this, that yes, they had started this entire process. It's quite obvious that they couldn't see it through completion in terms of what to do with illegal immigrants. But they are saying that the NRC and the way it's been done by this government, it's tardy. That's, that's the word, that's, one second, that, that's the word that's been used. That this is a tardy process thus far. And I think that's a valid point simply because, yes, there may be 40 lakh people who are illegal immigrants now. Maybe that number will come down. But then what do you do about them? The number is whopping. I think uh, indecisiveness is not really a virtue. You see, in spite of signing the accord, Assam Accord, in 1985, and I think it was in the behest of the Congress Party and its leader at that time, Mr. Rajiv Gandhi. But somehow we have been dragging our feet. Now, I am not here to put the blame on anybody. Tutu Meme, I don't believe. But we have failed to take a decision on the illegal immigrants who have been entering Assam. For the first time, under the leadership of Narendra Modi ji, NDA government could take a decision. Now, as far as politicizing the issue is concerned, I think the opposition is very adept in politicizing every issue under the sun. But NRC is not a political organization. NRC is an autonomous body. It is working under the surveillance and instructions of the Supreme Court of India. Now, I would not like the opposition to say that the Supreme Court is also doing politics. Supreme Court is above politics. So is NRC. Now, NRC has come out with a list. It is not the final list. I think on the floor of the House, Sri Amit Shahji has clearly stated this is a list prepared by NRC. They are also working on it. The people who are, you know, the 40 lakh people, they have been given the opportunity to furnish documentation to prove that they are citizens of our country. You see, we have to take a very strong decision on this illegal immigrant no, issue. But, 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 but the security, therefore, sir, internal therefore, security Bose, of the country is involved. Right, the then, facilities yes, and benefits to our own no. citizens are but, involved. But the central so we need this, to take a decision, decision is ultimately now. Taken, nobody I think knows we cannot about. delay this back to Bangladesh. I think they, it's wrong on the part of the BJP to claim that they have done it. 
because BJP government bought at the center. No, let me finish it. Bought at the center and Assam. They have no, First, they have been seeking extension after extension. And if the Supreme Court had not put the deadline, they would have them. never completed this process. Um, Mr. Chatterjee, let me ask you this. In light of what the Supreme Court has actually said on this issue, how is it all right for your party to actually say that, no, 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 we must ensure uh, th that, that the illegal migrants uh, are our family, they are part of our state, they are part of our India. Why don't you reflect also, forget politically, why don't you reflect on what the Supreme Court has said? That is the ultimate arbiter over here. As a result of population movement from Bangladesh, the specter looms large of the indigenous people of Assam being reduced to a minority in their home state. The influx of illegal migrants is turning districts into a Muslim majority region. It will be a matter of time when a demand for their merger with Bangladesh may be made. The rapid growth of international Islamic fundamentalism may, be, may provide for the driving force for this demand. So how, in light of what the Supreme Court has said, can Mamta Banerjee or the Trinamool be making the position now that look, illegal immigrants are part of our India, part of our family? First of all, let's make, let's, make a, let's make a distinction between Supreme Court orders and Supreme Court observations. Okay. All right, it's Already, it's an observation. It's an now, observation. I correct uh, myself. Actually, Fair enough. It's yeah, a it's very a, strong it's observation. observation. Yeah, it's an observation. It's a very strong observation, but it's an observation. Now, I let me tell you what uh, Chandra Bosch just said. NRC is not above question. NRC is a uh, Supreme Court is not going to house to house to collect the data. Supreme Court is not using the discretionary tools to decide who is a citizen based on oral evidence while asking for documentary evidence from other people. It is people on the ground of the state government of Assam and not even the state government of Assam. Contractual workers and temporary workers. Who are these people? ASU people, BJP people, RSS people and uh, Sorbananda Sonwal is ex-ASU. Today, Ulfa, terrorist, Ulfa, separatist, Ulfa, they said NRC is a historic day. Let us understand what has happened. Basically, old chauvinist lines have been recreated. BJP has used this cynically to actually exclude large number of people to who do not vote for them using the fig leaf of Bangladeshi. They have created such a fear psychosis that today Bangladeshi willy-nilly becomes Bengali Muslim and now willy-nilly becomes Bengali. Mr. Chandra so Bose, that, would you like to respond to that, today, that NRC, the uh, Trinamool Trinamool Congress alleges has been misused Bengalis. by the BJP today, to suit its political are agenda. Today, being taken to Vij Mr. Chatterjee, one second, camps. let him answer, there let him answer, go ahead, Section Mr. 144 Chandra Bose. in seven districts. Go ahead. Yes. You see, the Trinamool Congress and, and its leader is just believes in rhetoric and shenanigans and drama. So I think this dramatics should stop. You see, you have to depend on a reliable agency. There is, is there any evidence with Mr. Chatterjee that NRC is trying to make a list of people who don't vote for the BJP. How do the BJP would know who votes for us? We don't know who votes for us. Do, do the Trinamool Congress know who, who they vote? Let me respond uh, which to that. People vote yeah, for them? Second, so let us let not you to terrorize that. people to get votes. Let now we are talking minute, about minute, NRC. Minute. NRC is a responsible agency. It is an agency reporting to the Supreme Court of okay, India. Okay, one second. Gaga Chatterjee, you've got 30 seconds is, and last word to Priyanka. Gaga Chatterjee, make and your point quickly. Ulfa yes. And Asu come into the, the picture. The example you wanted to provide. Yes, there go ahead. There is no uniform. Yes, there is no uniform standard for determining citizenship in the NRC. Some people can do it based on lesser evidence. Some people can do it on more evidence. Lesser evidence, people are called original inhabitants. Original inhabitants stay in certain areas where BJP wins big. Everybody knows this. What okay. is the big deal right. about Priyanka, they want to you have people last who word of exactly 30 seconds. Why don't you tell us very directly over here, this is an issue the opposition no. wants to wrap itself around. Ahead of 2019, it's a straightforward political issue for you. It's an election agenda. No, no, I'm sorry. This is an issue which the BJP thinks that they will benefit out of politically while we look and at it don't? from a more humanitarian angle. We are very clear that the Supreme Court, Supreme Court has very categorically said all the 40 lakh people who do not find their names in the final draft will be given a chance to prove their citizenship. Okay. While you have the BJP president saying that in the floor of the house of Rajya Sabha that all of them are illegal immigrants. And just after he says this, a Telangana MLA who is a 
constitutionally elected person saying that they should all be shot dead. Okay. So what are we trying to instigate? All right. What are we trying? What are we trying to instigate? Are we trying to instigate? Priyanka, I'm interrupting you only because I'm out of time so as far as this that the BJP this debate is concerned. But I suspect right we'll be now. talking about this for a long time, politically and in terms of what happens to people on the ground. 